So I told you some some of y'all before about the mic that I got mainly for streaming purposes and just recording. I do find a very great interest in improving in everything I do. And quality is one thing that I always like being someone who edits my videos. I have editors nowadays to help me here and there, but you know, for some years I've been doing this shit and I've always uh, held quality at a very high standard. So I say that as if this purchase was something very premeditated. It wasn't. <laughs> so I was in the Discord really late at night with my homies, Kagi, Omega, and somebody else. And I, what I like to do a lot with my friends that do different occupations than me is ask a lot of questions. You know, Kagi is a voice actor mainly, you know, these days. So I like to ask about the process, the equipment, this, that, and the third. So we started talking about mics and he mentioned about the U87 the fucking big mic of the land, the studio standard. There's so many names for this mic that was just getting me hard. I'm not gonna hold you. So I looked it up on Amazon and it was like 3,200, it was a lot. It was 3,000 and some change. And I'm like, no mic is ever that worth it. Like this mic I have now, which I've been having since 2016 is around 500. And I don't think I need anything else besides this. I don't, but I saw a comparison video on YouTube and it did something to me. Like my lower region was just like, this, I don't know how to describe it, but it was immaculate. Now, what's beautiful about YouTube is stuff like this is a business purchase. So when it comes to my taxes, I can write this off. And why that's good is because it's money I don't have to then pay when I do taxes because it's for my business. You know what I'm saying? You get it set up right. So it's like it gets deducted from the current payment that adulting is hard. And I wanted to sound immaculate. Now there's one thing that is a, a, a caveat with this mic that I don't know the extent of yet, but I'm gonna do research as I go along. There's a thingy in here that's extra long, right? And me yelling into this mic how I normally do on a consistent will probably break this over time compared to like this. This has been going like years strong, like 2016 to now strong. I've been yelling like crazy. Sekiro, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, you fucking name it. This mic been through the shit. Don't know if this has the same durability with how I yell, but it sounds immaculate. And that could be a problem in its own because apparently this picks up a lot of sound. But hey, without further ado, so I'm gonna say a sentence. Hello, my name is Afro Sinju. And today I'm doing a comparison between the Electro Voice something, something, something and the U87. Right now I'm using the Electro Voice something, something, something. And I, I, I think I sound nice. I sound cool, you know, ugh. Hello, my name is Afro Sinju, and I'm doing a comparison against with the Electro Voice. Uh -huh. I don't remember what I said. Electro Voice and the U87, something. Anyways, this is the U87, and you have all the other footage prior to compare against how I sound now. So I don't think I need to do that. But yeah, maybe if you have headphones on, you might hear a difference. Maybe you hear right away. I know some people can pick it up that really in the audio, and some people think it just sounds the same. Me personally, it took me a bit to get justified uh, spending this much on this thing and feel good about it. Does that make sense? I, I felt like I made a mistake hearing a slight difference at first, but the last video I did with Genshin Impact, I used this mic, and it to me, it just sounded immaculate. I don't know. That's just me. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of it down below. And uh, one other thing I want to talk about, which is really important to me. I've been gone for a good bit, you know? And the reason why has been kind of uh, under wraps a little bit, but I can talk to you guys about it now. And I'm very proud of it. Um, I'm officially a homeowner. I got a house. It took a really long time to get. I got to wait like some real long months. Like, I don't know what it is, but the housing market at this current point in time is uh, not not the best. It's not the right time to get a house right now. Let me just say that. Prona has really sold a lot of things down. Um, I recently got it furnished. Uh, I live in a pretty good neighborhood and I, I want to show you guys, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to get it ready to show before I came back because uh, that's where I've been putting all my time into. So that way you guys can understand where I've been. All right. So I mean, oh, I'm so excited. Let me show you. Hold on. Hold on. Man, when I tell you it is really hard to buy a house in Final Fantasy 14, this took me like years even, honestly. I don't know why the housing system in this game is so fucking ass, but hey, we here, nigga, we made it. You feel me? I want to give you a little bit of a house tour. Uh, real talk, I have been playing this game on a disgusting level. And, you know, jokes aside, 
this is something that took me a second to do and i am proud of it and i'm just gonna clickbait you to see it so look all right so this is a little chocobo steedless thing and whatever the, 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 the what do you ever you call it you need this to change the chocobo's color feed it and take care of it you only can do that with buying a house i believe add a little garden now i want to add my friend amanda help me decorate this place this is the house for my little guild you see that i'm like Kieran, yeah <laughs> We're so cool. Anyway, uh, you got the little uh, cactus guy thing on the... Oh, look at the bushy, bro. Little tree house. Who planted a tree? Me, nigga. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Let me show you the interior, bro. You, you got you to gotta flex everything if you're going to flex right. That's what my dad told me when he flexed how he left me on Facebook. But we don't got to talk about that. Am I crying? Anywho, jokes aside, we got the little living room. It's not a big place. We got a small thing, small little plot. Uh, medium, large, maybe one day, but it's, just, it's hard to get that. Uh, we got one slave over here, slave number two over here. This is a cool guy because his eye patch, he gives a different story every time he talks about it. And each every each and every story is interesting than the last. And then we got the basement, which is my favorite part, where we do drugs. Uh, well, not really. We just hang out. I don't know if you could sit down on this. I can't, can you? I'm gonna try, hold up. Uh, to sit. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you can. Oh, Pog. Except for the clipping on the table, but everything else is pretty Pog. I like that. Okay, okay. And then you got the people here, slave number three and four. You love to see it. You really do. And uh, yeah, all my time has sadly been engrossed in this. If you know what this weapon is on my back, then you know I've been playing for a grip because I did all this plus some more in uh, my time, just kind of, you know, uploading slowly. <laughs> uh, at first, you know, it was health issues, and then I just got on here and it was a wrap <laughs> i said a long time ago when i uploaded this mmos are a drug but i gotta break out of it so if you remember i did this thing on my channel called the plus ultra challenge where i upload two weeks straight and uh am i doing it now maybe don't know yet but i'm gonna be consistent and then when you see the video where i hit the plus ultra challenge you know it's time but as of now thank you guys for everything you know the mic the, the house as weird as it sounds you know playing this game consistently like the job that i have it wouldn't be uh a thing without you guys and i the level of thankfulness i have for that towards you guys the love that i have i don't know how to portray it in, in a meme and a joke and any like I, I don't know what to do besides continue being afro send you so i'm always gonna be that nigga and without further ado let me continue to keep being that nigga. I'll see y'all tomorrow.